Welcome back. In this YouTube video, I'm looking at 3.4, the standard normal distribution. 3.4 represents Chapter 3, Section 4 of the Pearson A-Level Maths Applied Maths Year 2 textbook. Let's go through the key facts of this section. Ladies and gents, over here we have a normal distribution x with a mean mu and variance sigma squared. We can apply a process called standardizing to that normal distribution to transform it into a standard normal distribution represented by capital Z. For standard normal distribution, the mean is 0 and the variance is 1 squared. Here is the formula to standardize. To get capital Z, you take capital X and you minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Probability capital Z is less than lowercase z is equal to phi of z. That is another way of writing that probability for a standard normal distribution. Here is a bell-shaped curve for a standard normal distribution. Because the mean for a standard normal distribution is zero, the bell-shaped curve is centered at zero. The area to the left of lowercase z is technically your phi of z. You can use the percentage points table, which is in the formula booklet, to find the value of lowercase z and lowercase p such that probability capital Z is greater than lowercase z is equal to lowercase p. These are the key facts of 3.4, the standard normal distribution. I'll be implementing these key facts within an example and an exam style question. Here is my example. X takes on a normal distribution with mean 124 and variance 10 squared. So ladies and gents, we know that the mean mu is equal to 124, the variance sigma squared is equal to 10 squared, hence the standard deviation sigma is the square root of 10 squared, which is 10. Right in terms of phi of z, part a, probability x is less than 136. I need to standardize, so here is my first step. I take x, I subtract the mean, which is 124, and I divide by the standard deviation, which is 10. This must be less than, do the same with the 136, Subtract the mean, which is 124, divide by the standard deviation, 10. Okay, so we know that this part over here represents capital Z. So I've got probability, capital Z is less than this fraction, which simplifies to 1.2. Okay, so I can represent this on a bell-shaped curve. Here is my bell-shaped curve. It is centered at the mean zero. So 1.2 is more than zero, so I can position the 1.2 somewhere here. This area to the left of 1.2 is my probability z is less than 1.2. This is technically the same as writing phi of 1.2. So I've taken that probability and I've expressed it in terms of phi of z. In this case, the z is 1.2. Let's move on to part b. Okay, so the first step is to standardize. So we take x, we subtract the mean, which is 124, and we divide by the standard deviation, 10. This is greater than 140, take away 124, divide by 10. OK, so we know that the left-hand side is just capital Z. So we have that probability, capital Z, is greater than this fraction, which simplifies to 1.6. I'm going to represent this on a bell-shaped curve. So here is my bell-shaped curve centered at the mean zero. 1.6 is more than zero, so we can position the 1.6 somewhere here. Probability z is greater than 1.6. Okay, so we want the area to the right of 1.6, which is this area here. Okay, now phi is defined in terms of less than. Over here, we've got greater than. So what we can do is notice that the bell-shaped curve is symmetrical. So that area to the right is equivalent to this area to the left of not 1.6 but minus 1.6. Okay, so this probability is equivalent to the probability of z is less than minus 1.6. Now we've got a less than involved, so this is technically the same as writing phi of minus 1.6. Okay, so we've expressed this in terms of phi of z, in this case z is minus 1.6. Let's move on to part c. So now we've got a range. Uh, we're going to start off by standardizing. So we've got 120, take away the mean, which is 124, divide by the standard deviation, which is 10. Less than, capital X, take away the mean 124, divide by the standard deviation 10. Less than, 132, take away the mean, 124, divide by the standard deviation 10. Okay, so the left-hand side, this fraction over here, simplifies to minus 0 
less than, the middle is technically your z. Less than, this fraction over here simplifies to 0 0.8. Okay, so now I'm going to represent this on a bell-shaped curve. Here is my bell-shaped curve. Centered at the mean of 0. Okay, now minus 0 0.4 is less than 0, so we can position that somewhere over here. And 0 0.8 is more than 0, so we can position the 0 0.8 somewhere over here. Probability that z is between these two values is technically this area over here. Now phi of z is defined in terms of a less than. Over here we've got a range, so how do we actually rewrite this in terms of phi? Well, if I go back to my bell-shaped curve, I notice that this probability is this area. To work out that area, I can do probability z is less than 0 0.8. Take away probability z is less than minus 0 0.4. That will give me the required shading. So we can split this into probability z is less than 0 0.8. Take away probability z is less than minus 0 0.4. Okay, so now both of these are in terms of less than. So we can rewrite them in terms of phi. We've got phi of 0 0.8 minus phi of minus 0 0.4. So now we've taken this probability and we've expressed it in terms of phi. This completes my example. Moving on to an exam style question. Part A used the percentage points table to find a value of z such that probability capital Z is greater than lowercase z is equal to 0 0.05. So in part A, we've got probability capital Z is greater than lowercase z is equal to 0 0.05. So over here, we notice that the p-value is 0 0.05. I want to calculate the lowercase z using the percentage points table. So now I'm going to show you how to use the percentage points table to calculate the lowercase z for this particular question. Here is the percentage points table of the normal distribution which can be found on page number 34 in the formula booklet. So what we want to do is locate p equals 0 0.05. So here is p equals 0 0.05. The corresponding lowercase z value is 1.6449. Using that percentage points table, we get that lowercase z is equal to 1.6449. Moving on to part b. A university offers academic awards to the top 5% of students taking an examination. Part B, given that the scores can be modelled using a normal distribution with mean 65 and standard deviation 7.2, use your answer to part A to find the score necessary to receive an award. So ladies and gents, let's start by defining a random variable. Let S be the score in the examination. So we know that S takes on a normal distribution. The mean is given in the question, it is 65. So that's your mu, which is 65. The standard deviation is 7.2, hence the variance is 7.2 squared. So we've got the standard deviation is 7.2. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that X is the minimum score needed to receive an award. Okay, so it clearly says in the question, a university offers academic awards to the top 5% of students taking an examination. So we're looking at the top 5%. So if I was to draw a bell-shaped curve, this is what I have. Okay, so the bell-shaped curve is centred at the mean 65. We're looking at the top 5%. So 0 0.05. That is your minimum score X needed to receive an award. Okay, so from this bell-shaped curve, we see that the probability that S is greater than or equal to X will equal 0 0.05. We have a normal distribution, so the equal contributes to zero area. I can delete that equal, and I can just write this. Okay, so my target now is to work out the x. 
Okay, so how do I work out the x using my answer to part a? Well, I notice that in part a, I've got a standard normal distribution. So what I must do over here is standardize in order to use my answer in part a, okay, which is this lowercase z value, 1.6449. So let's standardize. We get probability s minus the mean, so the mean is 65, divide by the standard deviation, 7.2. This has to be greater than x minus the mean, 65, divided by the standard deviation, 7.2, equal 0 0.05. So that part there represents capital Z. So I've got capital Z is greater than this fraction. So this probability is equal to 0 0.05. I can call this entire fraction over here lowercase z. So probability capital Z is greater than lowercase z is equal to 0 0.05. Fantastic. That's what we had in part A. Now we've used that statement to calculate the lowercase z, which is 1.6449. So lowercase z is equal to 1.6449 from part A. Okay, so now I can set up an equation. I can write down that this fraction over here x minus 65 over the standard deviation 7.2 has to equal 1.6449. That's fantastic. That's brilliant. We can rearrange this to work out the value of x. So x will equal 65 plus 7.2 multiplied by 1.6449. So I can put this into my calculator. And ladies and gents, what I'm going to do is I'm going to round to the nearest integer. Okay, so if I round to the nearest integer, I get x equals 77. So the minimum score needed to receive an award <coughs> is actually 77. That day, ladies and gents, completes this teaching video 3.4, the standard normal distribution. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.